With a unity of mind, a unity of purpose, the students gathered in a common belief that they are one. And to be genuinely unified, the students must work, live, play, learn, and most of all, be together. It's rare that students in today's generation truly know the history of San Felipe del Rio Consolidated Independent School District. What's even more inconceivable to our young generation nowadays is that 50 years ago, our parents, grandparents, and perhaps even our great-grandparents lived in a time when they attended or worked in one of two entirely separate school districts. This story is about that era. the beginning of a forced period of transformational change that would divide and unite our schools, our families, and our neighboring communities at the same time. Across the nation, court orders in the 60s and 70s consolidated school districts, redrew school zoning, and prompted busing programs to make schools more racially balanced. In 1970, a federal judge in East Texas by the name of William Wayne Justice placed the entire state of Texas under a desegregation order. In August of 1971, just as students and teachers across town were enjoying the last few days of summer, school leaders were receiving notices of a federal court order that would change Del Rio history forever. Superintendents of San Felipe ISD and Delro ISD, Mr. Homero Sigala and Mr. O.B. Poole, respectively, each briefed their school boards of the immediate order to desegregate their schools. Anyone who remembers witnessing this dramatic period of school integration decades ago remembers hearing the news that their schools and traditions that they so eagerly looked forward to in the coming school year would soon be coming to a screeching halt. Following the federal court ruling in 1970, both independent school districts were suddenly faced with a series of questions and concerns. What would become of San Felipe ISD? What would become of Del Rio ISD? As these two districts were forced to go in and integrate, merge, and consolidate. One of the biggest issues was how would two school boards and two superintendents ultimately come together? And that would ultimately be decided on September 2nd of 1971 and when all 11 members of San Felipe del Rio CISD would meet for the very first time to take the oath of office and begin the process of transitioning traditions, mascots, student leaders, and above all, heal a wound that had been created in the city of Del Rio over this particular consolidation order. It would take nearly 50 years for that wound to go in and heal. From Wildcats and Mustangs, we eventually became the Mighty Rams and Queens because together, ultimately, we dare mighty things. no doubt that the federal desegregation order sparked an overwhelming amount of emotions during the 1971-1972 school year. But amidst the turmoil of this time, there were three things that remained constant. Hope, pride, and determination. It took a few years, but eventually district leaders, teachers, parents, community members, and even students gave rise to the concept of a common belief that they are one, and that together, we are better.
With a unity of mind, a unity of purpose, the students gathered in a common belief that they are one. And to be genuinely unified, the students must work, live, play, learn, and most of all, be together.